I don't know much about football, but I know people and I know stories. Andy Hopper's story is one you should hear. He's the line coach for the Paradise High School Bobcats. He is a good, kind, massive teddy bear of a man. And Hopper has had a hell of a year. It started the morning of November 8th, 2018, when a wildfire burned most of Paradise to the ground. Hopper's home was lost, along with the homes of his neighbors, family, and friends. Almost 50,000 people were made homeless in a matter of hours. But this is not a sad story. This is the story of a heart big enough to restart a town. In the months after the fire, Hopper went back to work to give some help and hope to the boys he mentored. They had no place to play games, no place to practice, but along with Bobcats head coach Rick Prince, Hopper made sure these boys knew they were loved, valued, and had a place to be that was not all fire and depression and worry. And there was worry. In those months after the fire, there was a real question about whether paradise would rise again. If a town full of heartbreak and stress and loss could really shake it all off and become a hometown again. But by the time the first home game was played back at Paradise High, surrounded by the wrecked town still cleaning to rebuild, Hopper's heart had made the team believe in themselves again. And that night, the team's heart made the town believe again. For the first time in almost a year, Paradise was a place of cheers and hope and happiness again. It was beautiful. And I'm here to tell you it was the turning point of Paradise's rising from the ashes. Before there was pessimism and doubt and wonder. After, there was hope and determination, and it all started with Hopper sharing his heart with his boys. But that is just half the story. Just a few weeks later, Hopper's heart nearly killed him. He had a heart attack so awful it took two back-to-back -back open heart surgeries to pull him back from the brink. Hopper has done so much for us. We should do something for him. This story can't end with Hopper and his family going bankrupt from medical bills. It has to end with us stepping up to help him as he stepped up to help us. So this holiday season, let him know what he's meant to our town. Let's all kick in what we can to lessen the burden and to make sure he knows we appreciate what he's done and what it's meant to all of us. So please, follow this link and the links associated with this video and do what you can.